to students today we are going to discuss the new point in all in the nmr spectroscopy what is that point it is the chemical exchange this is also called as proton exchange reaction definitely this time question will be asked in the examination on this point chemical exchange or proton exchange reaction now what is the meaning of chemical exchange or proton exchange reaction chemical exchange represent the transfer of nucleus from one molecular environment to the another to example with slightly different features are given below many more examples are given it is not only two example but what is chemical exchange chemical exchange it represents the transfer of nucleus from one molecular environment to the another molecular environment remember the exchange or transfer of nucleus from one molecular environment to the another molecular environment so this is the very interesting things in the chemical exchange for example hydrogen on water molecule exchanges with proton on the amide group in a deep in middle of macro molecule here the chemical shift and j coupling of both hydrogen changes as they enter their new molecular environment based on bond enthalpies and geometry the forward and backward rate of this chemical reaction would be relatively slow and unequal with the equilibrium population state unsymmetrically favoring proton remaining on the water molecules now see here what actually happened in that case one case what we have used is the amide we have used amide in case of amide what kind of chemical environment is there and when we consider water that in that case chemical environment is different now see here now whatever molecule is there this is called as amide molecules i am showing you amide molecules why it is called as amide because n is attached to the carbonyl group nitrogen is attached to the carbonyl group and what we have to look in the amide see the structure of amide whatever we are having the nitrogen nitrogen also attach proton one proton is attached to the nitrogen and if you look at the water molecule in that environment means water molecule is there in amide amide is not alone amide is not alone it contaminated with the water or you can say some drop of water molecule is added into the amide means when water molecule is considered there look at this whatever i am having the hydrogen with this water molecule and hydrogen with the amide now see here with the help of red color i have shown that the proton of water and the proton of amide remember here proton of water and proton of amide they get exchange they get exchange now in what sense environment is different here when initially if you took amide it is in very pure form it do not contain any, any water molecule when it is ultra pure or it is 100% pure amide is 100% pure no water molecule is there it means that first environment of this amide molecule is only the amide only the amide in the content but when we put a drop of water molecule into the amide solution or amide sample what happen in that sample only amide will not be there along with that amide water molecule is there when water molecule is there the proton from water and proton of nitrogen which is of amide part they get exchange they get exchange it means that 
this water proton may take the position of proton of nitrogen and this nitrogen proton take the position of water so that kind of exchange took place because in first case we had only pure ultra pure or very pure 100% pure amide and in second case just we have added a drop of water molecule into the amide so environment get changed so this is the exchange of proton took place if you look at the another example hydrogen bonding and chemical exchange in water then here proton nuclei are traded among various molecules that are chemically distinguishable but which may have a different rotational and trans translational energies the expected exchange rates would be quite fast with no preference for one water molecule over another because the reactant and products are identical there would be no change in chemical shift or coupling constant j now see here when we have the hydrogen bonding what kind of exchange took place jyavelas hydrogen bonding asta tyavelas kasha paddhatina exchange hot asta he paanare apan hydrogen bonding there are two different type of hydrogen bonding one is called as intermolecular hydrogen bonding and another is called as intramolecular hydrogen bond intermolecular and intramolecular intra means within the same molecule intra means inter means within a different molecule in this case look at this we have we have the water molecule here first one is water molecule second one is water water molecule third one is water molecule so in this example three water molecules are involved but the one water molecule having the hydrogen here and oxygen so we have hydrogen oxygen bond here and this is dotted line bond this is dotted line bond and whatever we have bond here with oxygen and hydrogen which is indicated with the help of blue bond blue color it is permanent bond and the bond which i have shown here with the help of dotted line between oxygen and hydrogen i am showing with the help of arrow this is dotted line bond it means that this is the water molecule one water molecule this is the another water molecule between these two water molecules the bond is formed and it is shown with the help of dotted molecule or dotted bond if you consider the next one third water molecule see here again we have oxygen and hydrogen dotted line it means that within three molecule of water we have two hydrogen bonding so oxygen hydrogen bond took place oxygen hydrogen bond took place what i mean to say is that here see the focus of hydrogen see the focus of hydrogen how that get how they can exchange when we move to the next one means conversion is there now see here whatever hydrogen bonding was there between that three mole three water molecule that will not be there it means that look at this ox hydrogen oxygen hydrogen now now see here if you look at this molecule of water ha jo dusra water cha molecule ahe jo madla water molecule ahe to paha yacha madhe red color cha proton hai ani blue color cha proton initially it having a red color proton and blue color proton but when exchange of hydrogen from other water molecule is took place now the situation become different here blue color proton remain as it is but instead of red color we have a pink color proton we have a pink color proton means proton exchange took place if you look at the next one here we have the red color proton and blue color proton now what was that one one blue color proton see here in this third water molecule two hydrogens are there and both hydrogen of blue color both hydrogens are blue color but when exchange of proton take place by another water molecule 
Now, instead of getting a two hydrogen blue color, one hydrogen of blue, another hydrogen of red color. So, this is the exchange. So, this is the exchange. So, water molecule get exchange the proton. Hydrogen bonding in water, hydrogen nuclei such as those colored red and orange above that already I have shown with the help of uh, explanation and uh, how that hydrogen oxygen bond that get breaks a new bond get created. It means that the position of hydrogen in the starting molecule definitely that get change and exchange exchange one manje badal one. Apple je proton ji position ahe the proton cha position made badal korun gena it is nothing but the exchange. So this uh, things that we already we have understood. Although chemical exchange is generally thought of as involving the physical transfer of nuclei between two molecules, means physically that hydrogen get transfer. Physically hydrogen transfer or transfer of hydrogen means what? Suppose now I am at home now, and I have to deliver lecture to you. And I am delivering this lecture from my from my house. But if I am having a some time, I will go to the college and deliver the lecture from the college. What I have what I have changed? I have changed my position. Initially, at I I was at my home. Now I am at college. It means that I have changed the position of my similar fashion. The hydrogen also changes its own position. It physically changes its position. It transfers from one place to another place. When this is the situation, then it is called as then it is called as exchangeable proton. So here chemical exchange means physical transfer of nuclei between two molecules. Definitely molecules are different. In what sense you are considering the molecule? When I was delivering lecture at home, it was one molecule. And when I was delivering the lecture at the college, it was another molecule. But I have been transferred from my home to college. So this is the transfer of mine due to some things. So at my home, environment is different. And at college, environment is different. For example, the molecule where the proton reside may simply change its conformation. For example, cis and trans position. If you look at the cyclohexane, cyclohexane is no, well known to you. There are two different types of cyclohexane. One is called as cis cyclohexane and trans cyclohexane. What is the change in that position? Uh, definitely proton will change this. The proton at one structure, if it is at equatorial position, when we get change, the position uh, we, when we get the change conformation from cis to trans definitely equatorial proton moves to the axial proton and axial proton moves to the equatorial proton so by that way the hydrogen exchange will take place so this is the uh, very important second example when we consider that commonly seen in biological tissue is where an intact molecule moves or it transported between a different compartment such as from inside to outside of the cell. A final example is where an impact intact molecule goes from a free to the bound state such as when free water molecule become restricted in their motion along a proton hydrogen layer. So this is the biological example that I am going to explain you or that I am going to tell you. So, bound state water molecule and free state water molecule, one is exist at outer side and another is exist at inner side of the cell wall. So, this is the things regarding this explanation of exchange of water molecule, sorry, exchange of proton. Now, see here, definitely there are two different phenomena, slow exchange, medium exchange or intermediate exchange and third one is fast exchange. When we have the slow exchange, look at this, definitely we are getting a two peaks and they get separated away from each other. They are having the much more difference between these two ones. And when 
and see the height of that peak is there. So this peak height is more compared to the second peak height, third peak height, and even the fourth and fifth peak height. So what it indicates? It indicates that slow exchange. Whatever we are having the intermediate, means you are getting the only the broad peak. Instead of getting the very sharp peak, if you got the broad peak, it indicates that intermediate exchange is there. Uh, it is the medium exchange. And when we have, look at this, fast exchange. When fast exchange is there, the peak is also broad, but not sharp. But height of this peak and height of first peak is different. So first peak, really, they are sharp, but in the last, it is fast exchangeable, peak is not sharp. That peak is broadened and that peak is also having the height. I think from this example or from this diagram, you can understood what is meaning, uh, meaning of slow exchange, intermediate exchange and fast exchange. So this is very interesting things to understand. Now another example I have took here. Which example? That is the ethanol. You know that ethanol. One I have taken pure ethanol and second I have taken impure ethanol. It means that it having some water molecule impurity. Now you know the example structure of ethanol. It is CS3, CS2OH. If I ask you how many different type of protons present in this pure ethanol, definitely you can answer it. It having the three different type of protons. So whatever I have shown, this CS3, methyl, CS2, methylene, and this is the OH. So three protons of methyl are similar. The methylene, methyls are similar, and methylene having two protons, they are similar, and oxygen having one type of proton. So one, two, three. So there are three different type of protons are available. Now. If three types of protons are there, definitely they will show the three signal. They will show three signals. So remember here, if different type of protons are four, you will get four different peaks. If they are two, you will get two different type of 